Hey everyone, welcome back. You know how much we love a good deep dive, and today we're taking on a story that really makes you think about what genius truly is. It's really one for the books. It really is. We're diving into the legacy of Srinivasa Ramanujan. Now, even if you're not a math whiz, this one's got something for you, trust me. It's fascinating stuff. It really is. So we're talking about a self-taught mathematician from India who's grappling with these really complex concepts pretty much on his own. And he ends up revolutionizing how we understand the world of numbers. Yeah, his story really makes you question those preconceived notions, right? Like, what does it really take to be brilliant? Because it wasn't like he was at some fancy university surrounded by the world's leading mathematicians. Right, none. He was uncovering these really profound mathematical truths, almost like they just came to him out of thin air, and scribbling them down in these notebooks that, let me tell you, left the academic world speechless. Those notebooks are practically legendary now, right? Like filled with all these intricate formulas and equations that seem almost impossible for the average person to even begin to understand. But there's one set in particular, the Rogers Ramanujan identities that have really cemented Ramanujan's place in history. Definitely. And those identities perfectly illustrate how his work went beyond just solving problems. He was revealing this whole deeper layer of mathematical reality, these hidden connections nobody else was seeing. Okay, so I'm imagining trying to understand how a complicated clock works. Most of us just see the hands moving, telling time. But he was looking deeper at the gears, right? Exactly. He was peering into the gears, figuring out the elegant mechanisms that make it all tick. Okay, I like that analogy. Over. But what do those gears really look like when we're talking about these identities? How can we even begin to grasp those kinds of connections? Hmm, let's see. Imagine you're back in elementary school, adding numbers together, breaking them down into smaller parts, you know, like basic partitions. Right. No. Picture the other end of the spectrum, the world of prime numbers, those building blocks of all numbers that can only be divided by one in themselves, a whole different ballgame, right? Okay, I'm picturing two very different parts of math, for sure. Yeah. Where do they intersect? What's the bridge? Well, that's where these Rogers Ramanujan identities come in. They're like this secret passageway, revealing an unexpected link between those two seemingly totally separate concepts. On the surface, they look like a bunch of complicated equations. Like most mathematical things, haha. Huh? Right. But hidden within that intricate structure is a really profound truth. They're a bridge between the world of addition and the world of multiplication. Pretty neat, huh? You're telling me. Okay. So he found a way to connect something as simple as adding numbers to the complex world of prime numbers. That just bends my brain a little. It's mind-blowing. And get this, these identities weren't even entirely new when he discovered them. Wait, really? Yep. A couple of decades earlier, a mathematician named L.J. Rogers had actually developed very similar equations. But for some reason, his work flew under the radar. Wow, that's tough. I know, right? His papers were really dense, hard to understand. And honestly, I think the mathematical community just wasn't quite ready to grasp how significant they were. Wrong place, wrong time, maybe. So Ramanujan stumbles upon these groundbreaking truths, totally unaware that they were hiding in plain sight all along. That's incredible and a little bit heartbreaking when you think about it. Absolutely. It really highlights how important perspective is in mathematics. Sometimes all it takes is a fresh pair of eyes, a new way of looking at a problem, and boom, a discovery that was always there just revealed itself. I love that. It's like finding a hidden treasure, right? Yeah. But here's the thing. It doesn't end there. His work wasn't just this flash of brilliance that faded away. Mm -hmm. It sparked something that's still burning bright in the world of mathematics even now. Exactly. And I think that's key. Those notebooks weren't just about answers, you know? They were packed with questions. I'd imagine. Questions that have captivated mathematicians for over a century. Imagine this. He finds a hidden door in this massive library, right? And it's full of these books, written in a language most people can't even understand. Okay, I'm with you. He might not have had time to explore every nook and cranny, but he left that door wide open for others to follow in his footsteps. And follow they have. So who are some of those intrepid explorers, the ones mapping out Ramanujan's mathematical universe? Mm -hmm. Give us a glimpse into the minds, picking up that torch and carrying it forward. Well, one name that springs to mind is Hussein Mortada brilliant mathematician working in a field called algebraic geometry. Now, before you go too far down that road, for those of us who don't live in the world of abstract math, we're not just talking about triangles and squares, right? Uh -huh. yeah. yeah. No. Algebraic geometry is a bit more, shall we say, out there. 
It's about using equations to understand shapes, but these shapes exist in spaces with way more dimensions than we're used to dealing with. Right, like more than our usual three-dimensional world. Exactly. It's like trying to wrap your head around a 10-dimensional cube requires a whole other level of thinking, special kind of mathematical imagination. Okay, this is where I'm glad we have experts to guide us through all this. So what was Mortada up to in this multi-dimensional world, and how did he end up connecting back to Ramanujan? So Mortada's deep in this stuff called arc spaces. Think of them like really intricate, multi-dimensional curves, complex stuff. But here's the amazing part. As he goes deeper down this rabbit hole, he starts noticing these clues, these patterns. And you know what? They lead him right back to Ramanujan's Rogers Ramanujan identities. Hold on. So these identities that Ramanujan kind of pulled out of thin air are now being rediscovered in the most unexpected places. It's like he had this sixth sense for fundamental truths that just pop up everywhere in math. That's it. It's like he could see the forest for the trees, you know? recognize a much deeper, more fundamental structure underneath all these seemingly different areas of math. And Mortada's work is a perfect example of how that intuition is still paying off today, right? Right. Absolutely. But hold on, there's more. Mortada's discoveries were just the tip of the iceberg. Another mathematician, Punaf Shiraju, she takes this connection even further. Oh, wow. So where does she come in? She finds a way to generalize one of Ramanujan's original identities proving that it holds true in even more situations than anyone initially thought. So we've gone from mathematicians finding new applications for his work to actually expanding its scope, proving that his insights were even more powerful and wide-reaching than anyone realized. That's wild. It really is something, and it makes you think, over a century later, we're still uncovering the full impact of what he started. Definitely. But wait, we can't forget about that other connection you mentioned. The one of prime numbers. Ah, yes. Now, this is where things get really interesting. Remember how we talked about partitions, those ways of breaking down numbers into smaller parts? Yeah. Turns out there's this completely unexpected link between partitions and prime numbers. You know, those building blocks of all numbers, only divisible by one and themselves. Okay, you're going to have to hold my hand through this one. Partitions are about addition, breaking things down. Prime numbers are about multiplication, what goes into what. How can those two even be related? It's like saying there's a secret connection between the rules of chess and, like, the laws of physics. I know, it seems impossible, right? But that's what's so amazing about this. Mathematicians have figured out how to use partition identities, the same ones that fascinated Ramnujan, to tell if a number is prime or not. They've created this sort of mathematical sieve using the principles of addition to uncover truths about multiplication. Okay, that is seriously mind-blowing. We've gone from the depths of algebraic geometry to the very building blocks of all numbers, and somehow Ramanujan's work is the thread tying it all together. It really does make you step back and think, doesn't it? From these humble beginnings, the self-taught mathematician in India, to the forefront of what math is today, and through it all, Ramanujan's genius just shines through. It's like he had this almost supernatural ability to just see what was hiding in plain sight, these connections nobody else could even imagine at the time. Exactly. And that's really the heart of what makes his legacy so powerful. His work, you know, some people dismiss it at first, just a bunch of interesting but isolated findings. But now we know better. It's profoundly important, influential across so much of mathematics. It's like he was playing a whole different game levels ahead of everyone else, right? leaving these little clues behind that only now, as we understand math better, are starting to make sense. I like that analogy. And the really exciting part, we've only just scratched the surface. Those notebooks of his are still full of formulas, conjectures, things that have mathematicians scratching their heads even now. It's like he left this treasure map, but instead of leading to gold, it points us toward, well, a deeper understanding of the universe itself. Wow. So it makes you wonder, what else is hidden in those pages? What other seemingly impossible connections, what groundbreaking insights are just waiting for someone to discover them. That's the beauty of Ramanujan's story, isn't it? It reminds us this journey of knowledge never really ends, and those aha moments, the really big discoveries, they often pop up in the most unexpected places. It's a testament to what humans are capable of, our curiosity, our drive to make sense of the world, no matter how tough the puzzle might seem. So to everyone listening, next time you're facing something that feels impossible, Remember Srinivasa Ramanujan. Remember that even when things seem impossibly complex, a little genius, a lot of dedication can reveal those hidden paths and change how we see everything around us. Who knows, maybe you'll be the one to unlock the next great mathematical mystery. Until next time, keep those brains buzzing, keep asking those questions, and keep diving deep.